Hello, welcome back to Subnautica. That's a Reaper. Uh, where did I leave my boat? My boat is down here. Oh god. Please go away. Please go away. Oh no. That's not my... Come here, come here. I want to scan you. That's it, turn. It's moving! Keep scanning, keep scanning. Another one. Come on. There we go. Run. Run. Run, 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 run. This is going to be close. Oxygen. Right, up, 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 up. Just looking for torpedo arms. Anyway, yeah, welcome back to Nautica. I was looking for torpedo arm fragments for a prawn suit, because I really want to make a prawn suit. Instead, I encounter the Reaper. I'm actually going to read that text about the Reaper, because I really want to learn about the Reaper. Um... Do we have room for that? Yeah, we do. That is the first time I've actually encountered a Reaper up close like that and survived. Now, I've made a few changes to the base since last time, as you'll notice when we get there. Uh, people did suggest I use the reinforced wall sections rather than the bulkheads, and I have done so. I've removed the bulkheads, added the reinforced wall sections. They add 7 HP, except if you add them to a certain part of the base, they seem to add 14. So, right now our base is ridiculously tanky because I added two. It's sitting somewhere like 15 or 20 HP because that's just crazy talk. Uh, so, the base is actually doing pretty well. I've also gone and I've harvested some of the deep shrooms because people were saying that to uh, actually make polyalanine you need deep shrooms. And so I've gone and done them. I also died when I was harvesting them because I was like, oh, if I hit them with a knife... And my entire grow bed of them died and killed me because they give off acid when they die. And that was painful. So here are my deep shrooms. Aren't they glorious? Uh, right. Um, let's put you up here. There we go. Okay, so with no bulkheads, this is a lot more fun. Look at that. That looks beautiful. It's easy to traverse and everything. And here we go. There's a bulkhead there. And a bulkhead. And they're not bulkheads, sorry. Reinforced panels. And I also put a window in. And a bed. And a movement poster up here. And then down here, we have a window here. Oh. Uh, also, more lockers because, yeah, we need more lockers. And I might need more lockers still. That's a lot of stuff to put away. Why do I do this? Oh, God. Uh, oh no, no that one's got stuff. Right, I also went and I grabbed some lithium and some magnetite from the purple shroom biome. Uh, so close. They literally need one more space. Well, actually more because I've got stuff to get out there. Uh, right. Well, let's try playing with the uh, shrooms to make polyalanine if we can. Right, so... One, two, three. I think we need. Hydrochloric acid, which we need to make polyalanine. Right, gold and hydrochloric acid. So we need salt and gold. So there's salt. Put away that lithium. And then gold. So 
get ourselves some hydrochloric acid, which is a black block, because it hasn't been done yet. And get ourselves some polyalanine, which is also a black block. And now we can use that polyalanine... ...to make something fun. Seamoth Perimeter Defense System. Generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fauna. And apparently, this will push a Reaper away if a Reaper decides to go for you. Let's grab what we've got left in here. Now, what are we going to replace? Uh, I don't want to replace the storage locker. That's actually really useful for just carting around equipment. Power efficiency module? No. Definitely not the pressure compensator. So it's going to be the solar charger, which is a shame, because I've actually never had to really recharge the battery, because the solar charger has been doing it for me. Let's see how this works. Okay, so you can toggle it on and off using three. Okay. Does it drain battery particularly fast? Doesn't seem to be. Then again, we've got the energy efficiency plugin, so... I'm just hoping it will push away a Reaper. Like, people have said that, but I don't know if people are trolling me. I... Don't want to lose Deborah. She was expensive. That pressure compensator is... I was going to say worth its weight in gold. Considering gold is actually not that expensive. Uh, no. No, it is it's worth far more. Right. Uh, we also might want to make a prawn suit today. That's what I'm thinking. Ah! Cats hate water, so that's not really the best one. But sure. Uh, right. I... Might have to just weather carrying around some random crap for a little time. Because. Yeah. Even with that, I have to make more lockers, but I don't know where to put more lockers. Like, they'll just start getting in the way. Right. What do we need to make a prawn suit? Wanna climb. There we go. Aerogel Lubricant Plasteel Ingot Aluminium Oxide Crystal. Aerogel Lubricant Plasteel Ingot and Aluminium Oxide Crystal. Okay. Well, that's something we can actually manage. I think we've actually got some of that just sitting around. So, we're going to need Plasteel Ingot. Uh, I went and hunted a load of table coral because it was getting frustrating to mine. I got the bug that you just can't mine it quite often. Okay, that's enough. That we'll want lithium as well. Okay, so titanium got. We're gonna need aluminium oxide crystal if I can spot them. Lubricant. Okay, we've got two lubricant. Yoink, yoink. That's the lingot. So, aerogel and aluminium oxide crystal. We just need those. Get rid of our salt. I need you. Okay, aerogel and aluminium oxide crystal. Advanced material. Aerogel. Gel sack aluminium oxide crystal. Aha! Ooh! Blood oil makes benzene. Huh. I wonder if we can grow these. We should be able to. I don't want to put them near these, because if these die, they murder everything around them. Alright, that's a good start. So, we need to get two more aluminium oxide crystals and two gel sacks to go with them. Okay, we have those. Right. Aerogel. Aerogel. Grab, 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 grab. I mean... Grab, there we go. 
And in theory... We should have this. Prawn suit. Do 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 I've got two punchy arms. <gasps> oh my god! I feel a little bit bad. But it did try and attack me. Right, how do I use thrust? Ah! Right, let's land. Oh no, my plants! Wait, my plants are fine? What the hell? I, rem I realize now that I put plants in the docking bay. But they're completely fine. That is weird. Oh, there we go. Huh? Right, let's have another look at this prawn suit. And I, I kind of want to put it in the module area so we can kind of kit it out of awesome modules. Because we want to go back to the Lost River, and I kind of think this is probably the best way to go back. Even without the drill arms. Uh, well, we just got a message, so... That's covers that plan. We'll be back. Hello? Nine new biological subjects designated mode, something hunting, analyzing, sharing subject location with other agents. Nine new biological subjects? Does it mean people? Look at that bronze. Where'd I put upgrades in you? Ooh! Ooh, that's a good storage area. You're not as fast as the Seamoth, though, so I wouldn't really use you for just, like, grabbing, uh, all kinds of fun things, but... Nonetheless. Where do you put upgrades? Right, you've got a charge cell there, a charge cell there. There we go, that's the upgrade. So, two arms and four modules there. Okay. I mean, I would make another moon pool if they weren't so ridiculously expensive. And this was meant to be a simple base anyway. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, prawn suit. Come with me. Uh, whoopsie! I did not mean to do that. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. <laughs> Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Right. Modification station. Um. I guess you're not H. M. S. HM Her Majesty's suit? HMS? Oh. Yeah, sure, why not? HMS and then it'll begin with an E. Edith. Edna. Yeah, Edna. I like it. There we go. We're going to go with Edna. Uh, main colour. Uh those stripes don't appear to be white. They appear to be yellow. And 
they don't seem to... What's going on? That seems odd. Okay, I guess I'll have to stay with black. Yeah, I guess it'll do. Right, I need to go eat something. And then we need to make fun things! I... Wait, what? There was a peeper caught in here earlier, and I was going to point this out to people. Because people pointed out in the last episode, and I was like, chasing this peeper around now. I was like, oh look, there is actually a peeper in here. People weren't lying. Now... What? I mean, I don't want to catch you. You're like, kind of cool, but... Sure, um... Give me some potatoes. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Yummy potatoes. Uh, right. What were we gonna do? We're gonna make stuff for you. Do 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 do. Hello there. Okay. We want a grappling arm. Suit jump jet upgrade. Uh, I don't have kyanite, I don't have sulfur, and I can't get those yet as far as I'm aware, so... Advanced wiring kit times two, expensive, but we can do it. Mm. Thermal reactor, kyanite, don't have that. We could get a torpedo arm if we really wanted. I mean, I want the drill arm, but... Common modules, pressure compensator. We could just take the one from the seam off, for now. Power efficiency, computer chip, seems good to me. Storage module. Even more storage. That sounds like a pretty cool idea. Hmm. So two advanced wiring kits and titanium. Along with titanium and computer chip. Not a bad idea. And what, like, other upgrades are there? That we can look at the modification station for. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. That's not the modification station. This is. Seamoth, Cyclops, Propulsion Cannon. So, yeah, nothing for the prawn. Okay. Well,. What we can do with the prawn is we can kit it out with those upgrades, and then um, I really need the drill like arm um, because we need to be able to drill. But we're going to go back down to the deep. We're going to go to that uh, precursor area with the prawn suit, and for that we're going to need probably some depth. We'll take the depth thing with us. We'll also need to get, as I said earlier, a grapple, uh, a storage, and we might as well get hull, just to fill up the slots. And computer. So, computer chip, two wiring, magnetite, no, computer chip, two advanced wiring, and just a load of titanium. Fair enough. that will be easy to do. Okay, so I have pulled all the upgrades out of the Seamoth that are applicable. So, pressure compensator. Crash depth now 1.7 kilometers. That's pretty deep. Uh, storage module, power efficiency module. Let's go make some other things. Right, oh, hello. I would like to make a grappling arm. And. Can we stack storage modules? I guess there's no point in, like,. I'm not trying. Right. Well, that didn't work. Uh, that might have been expanded by a lot more, I think. Let's find out. Oh, God. Ah! Just want to get in it. Okay, that that's it. I'm gonna have to go in the normal way. 
Gently, gently. Ah! The prawn suit doesn't have a collision mesh. Okay, right. So where were we? Um, upgrades. Right, so if we take you out, that is five by six. That's now six by six, which is only an increase of six, not the increase that it was talking about, but you know, I'll take it. Got a grappling arm on the left arm. Just kind of think it to be on the right. There we go. All right, let's try this. Oh, can we attach to the sub? We can. Oops. Sorry. Can we run in it? Why does it take any collision damage? Energy's at 99% now, so we are actually running out of energy though. We might have to bring some spare power cells if we're going to go on a long journey. Can we stand on top of the sub? Oh yeah. Oh, we should stop doing that. There's there's holes in my ship. Holes in my ship. All right, fight those controls. Don't hit the hab on the way down. Gently does it. Right. Sorry about that ship. I didn't mean to bring her up to dock. Gently. There we go. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, we have food. We have food over here. With a decoy launcher. If we want to build a decoy. We've got our prawn suit docked. Let's go grab our required equipment and then head back. I'll probably want a decoy. Okay, uh, we are now in the blood kelp biome and we're at almost our crush depth. So it is time to get into the prawn suit, which has shifted backwards, uh, strangely, um, but sure. Launch! Okay, we're falling a long way. Uh, a long way. Ooh, can I pick that up? Come on. There we go, I can pick it up. And that goes into... Uh oh, that's a back. That goes into the inventory of the prawn suit? That's useful. Right. Um, I'm going to need to shift some stuff around in my inventory because I want to go to our base down here and start equipping that. So I'm actually going to have to get a few bits and bobs, like seeds and stuff, so we can have um, food. And also, I'm kind of scared about warpers at the moment, but that warp seems far enough away that we're probably okay here. Okay. Reaper Bio. Talk to me. Donna? Carnivore. Reaper Prowler. Ooh. Uh, Reaper. There. Ooh. Wow. That looks awesome. Leviathan class predators are vast organisms at the top of their respective food chains. This species is a streamlined hunter with developed sight and echolocation ability. The deep roar emitted by the Reaper at regular intervals is effectively sonar. If you hear it, the Reaper can hear you. Four powerful mandibles. Soon the pressure exceeds sea moth crush resistance. Well, we know that. Scanned uh, specimen measured 55 meters long. Observed surfing its prey and attacking from behind. This creature is almost all muscle, no brain, no sense of morality, just muscle, sinew, and teeth. Prey. 
everything. Predators. Mm hmm. Slice me characterizes the life and cast predator. Current conditions are getting close enough to scan it and living to see the results. Assessment. Extreme threat. Well, I can agree with that. Oh, goody. Right, which way to our base? Lost River Base, this way. Jump pack. Oh. Let's swing. Tarzan! Oh, crap, that's a crap, that's a crap. Move, move, move. What the hell was that? We need to get out of here. Oh, that didn't quite work as intended, but uh, I like the swinging mechanic. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's another crab over there. Careful. Oh, there's a crab there. Bring it down. Bring it down. Safe depth. Now, 780 meters? Well, that seemed weird. Our crush depth is much better than that. There we go. Huh. That was odd. There? Okay. That looks to be working. It's got an interaction panel here, but as far as I'm aware, it does nothing. I assume it's generating, like, power. Ah, there we go. Right, and that's too far from the base to actually charge anything, so we're going to need to build this, which requires gold. Well, funnily enough, I just dropped some gold. Wink. Okay, there's definitely a power line there. Right, let's see how far we can get the power line. Okay, communication thing. Aha! That is close enough. Which means that we should be able to deconstruct this. Saves us a lot of room. Okay. What do we want to put in here? First of all, we definitely want a um, growy place outside, and we also want ourselves a filtration system. Put the water filtration system like here. I'm not going to be using that wall. It's pretty power hungry, though. But we also know that this is going to be under some extreme pressure outside. So we're going to want to put reinforced bulkheads on. There we go, plus 14. Might have been okay without it. And we'll need more glass to do this window properly. I've also got no way of making a fabricator, because I didn't bring everything I needed down in one go. Couldn't. But for now, that'll do. I think we've got enough to be able to build another power thing if we want. I'll drop one of my artifacts for now as well. So we could build another power thingy over there. There's certainly enough, like, quartz around. We could get our glass if we actually had a fabricator, which is frustrating. But I won't. Grab this. Is that a floating rock? That is a floating rock. I've seen weirder things. Like an entire island. Right. 
Let's go find the precursor base down here because we have our prawn suit. Seems like a perfect opportunity to me. Now we found our lovely precursor base. Let me see. This was the right. This is the skeleton. That's the probe thingies with the tentacles, and that's the base over there. Right. I'm gonna get there. That's some acrobatics. Damaged plant life on the seafloor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge bottom-dwelling life form. Sure that wasn't me. Oh, yes. Whee! And this is our entrance point. Ooh, there's definitely stuff in there. Okay, hello. I would like to... Wait, that's not purple, that's orange. Okay, so I guess this is the place we come after we go to the place we were told. I was wondering because originally we were told it was 700 meters from the island and we're actually like 2.3 at the moment. So we're a little bit further, I guess. Okay, this is the place we need to come back to. Um, well, next episode then we will delve deeper in looking for another precursor ruin. Hopefully we'll find the the Disease Research Center. Uh, but for now, I'm going to put a beacon down and we will call it for this episode. If you've liked, like, and not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of Edna. I think it is a, a, a great name. And hopefully we'll find out what's behind this door at some point. Stay shiny.